friends and welcome back to day 17 of December. We have our tea which is post party refresh and it is, oh I can't read, green tea with cinnamon, garcinia, and acai berry. Try that out. It's really hot. Mmm, that's really hot. That tastes nice. And we have our yarn advent. We're getting down there. Not that many left in here now. 18, 17. Okay. So low. So we're getting into some nice blues now. Darker and darker. That's pretty. And no more chocolates. <laughs> I did go back to Trader Joe's and got some of the holiday cookies, but they all taste kind of funny. So I'm going to have to go to Amazon when I do my returns and get some for sure, sure thing cookies for me. I wanted to share with you the shawl pattern that I picked out to go with the uh, Advent yarn. Now we can't start this right away because we've got to finish the Christmas blanket. I have another shawl that I started that I should really finish before we start this, but you know me, we're probably gonna start this <laughs> before I finish that one. But this is one of the ones I downloaded from TL Yarn Crafts. It's called the Bronwyn Shawl. It's really pretty, so it kind of has, we're gonna start on the short end and go back and forth but it's got this nice, this nice back and forth. So I need to find um, a larger skein of yarn that's gonna go with these. So I'm gonna open all these up first and see if we get into the purples or not. If we don't get into the purples, I might do kind of a, a pinkish purple, um, a pinkish, what do you call that? A pinkish purple kind of multi yarn that we can use with that so it'll just be a nice contrast um, and a good a good dark base for these to shine against so I'm very excited I watched the video this is not one of the Tunisian crochet patterns so it's a very simple pattern to follow it's just the going back and forth and then this has a nice front post um, texture kind of offset front posts so I'm looking forward to doing that. I also wanted to give you an update. We finally picked a plate set, yay! So we've got plates on their way. They're saying they'll be here by Christmas, so that would be ideal, is to have all the plates for Christmas. And, uh, and Greg had the brilliant idea of, if we like the plates, why can't we just make them our everyday set as well? So we would basically add the same plate sets. Um, but then I remember the reason why we don't use the fancy plates as everyday plates because they get dinged and scratched and, uh, you know, 
chipped and things like that. <laughs> so I ordered three different colors to mix because I really liked the way that the other thing that I was going to order was just the dinner plates, but they had a mix of these three colors, uh, so I thought that would be really cool. So I picked out those three colors, or really the only three colors left in stock, but so we've got a beige, uh, like a robin's egg blue, and a sea blue, so I'm not, not sure on the sea blue. So I got two sets of the cream, one set of the um, lighter blue, and then one set of the darker blue. If they come and I like the darker blue as our everyday set, I can just order another set of the darker blue, keep those darker blues as the everyday set, and have the other two colors as the fancy plates. So that's nice, it comes as a whole set with the dinner plate, salad plate, bowl, and mug. Don't know that I would keep that many mugs, because we all know I like my cutesy mugs, <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll go through and try them out and see what we like. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Heather, and I run a small handmade business called Lemon Tree Corner, where I make purses and bags, and we'll get into making a bag this week for my um, for a Christmas present, so you'll get to experience that with me. And this vlog is really just all about behind the scenes in my studio, my process of making things. Uh, this month we're doing all things Christmassy, so I'm working on felt ornaments for our advent calendar, which you just saw earlier and wrapping presents and you know decorating the tree and all that fun stuff so if you get to the end of the video and you like it i would love it if you would hit the subscribe button and join me on this journey and otherwise just watching the video hitting the like button commenting whatever whatever you feel comfortable doing really helps me out so and thank you to all of you who keep coming back love to see you every week and i love spending time with you so thank you and an update on the photo backdrops for that intro I was talking about. So I did sign, I did find some photo backdrops that are like three by five. So that would be a nice size to lay on the dining room table here, and then just do overhead shots of what I'm, what I'm thinking of. Um, so I expedited those. So hopefully they will show up soon because I wasn't thinking about the fact. I was just thinking about filming it over the break because I have these two weeks off. But then I was like, uh-oh, I'm going to need that intro <laughs> by the end of this break. We're going to have our first video of the year, so I'm going to need that intro ready. So we'll see when they come, and I'll work on that with you uh, sometime after Christmas and get that all ready for our year of bags. Yay! So we're going to hit the ground running uh, with the year of bags in the new year and do at least one, one bag a week. Uh, I've got all of the, you can't see them. <laughs> I've got all of the project bags ready to go um, for the drawstring project bags. So I think I'm gonna make those first after Christmas and then make way for the new bags, which are all, you know, I got a million patterns. <laughs> so we'll do that. And we'll also, like I said, work on the bag for my um, coworker as our Christmas present. So we'll work on this one. Uh, I'm gonna go to Joanne's and pick out some fabric for that and also take my mom's uh, painting down to get that custom framed. So hopefully we can have that hanging up for when she's over for Christmas. Okay, so lots to do this week. Let's get going.
vlogs and welcome back to what are we on day 18 of vlogmas so today we have peachy keen which sounds really good because i love peach so this is a hibiscus herbal tea with rosehip lemon lemongrass apple and cinnamon which doesn't have peach in it at all oh well so much for that oh looks very rosy have my my gnome today Oh, is that the apple or the rose? That one is not my favorite. And we have our Advent yarn. We're getting down to the end here. So I'm going to be a good girl and I'm going to wait to see what all the colors are before I purchase the other skein of yarn that I need to be the um, accent yarn for the shawl that I'm making. So, we will be good, and we will be patient, and wait. I need to wrap so tight lately. Ooh. I think we might just wind up with all the blues. This is a really dark blue. Very dark, like a indigo denim. Wow, that's really pretty. So I went a little crazy at Amazon buying cookies. A little cookie crazy but I got these these are so good I love the Tate's brand I'm not normally into crunchy cookies but they're like super thin and crispy and buttery they're really good so these are the white macadamia nut or white chocolate macadamia nut those are good and then I found these holiday ones which is a ginger snap I feel like they're a very good ginger snap. They're not too gingery. They're nice and buttery and crunchy. Really good. And then these, but these are quite pricey, but I really like them. They're the Milano cookies, but they have the peppermint bark on top. So good, but you gotta eat these over a plate because that peppermint goes all over the place. So I've been snacking on those. And then my sister and I took a trip to Joanne's, so you'll see the footage for that probably before this. But I wanted to give you a haul. Our Joanne's didn't do the custom framing anymore. So um, I wound, we wound up stopping by Michael's and I'm gonna do the custom framing through Michael's. So they got a frame all set up. Unfortunately, I forgot to take a picture of the existing piece of art that I'm gonna hang it next to. And I knew it had a mat and a frame and I didn't know if it had glass, but then she said if you did a mat, you you would have to do glass. So um, we were trying to figure out whether to put glass in this one or not. Uh, and I was like, you know, can I can I decide that later? Can I add glass to it later if I decide to do that? Because it's not like anybody smokes in our house or anything. But then again, seeing how damaged my uh, parents' honeymoon painting is, you know, I don't want that to get all gunky over time. And she said, yeah, it's really easy to add the glass later. So I might go back and add the glass later. I'm thinking I should just go back now and add the glass now. I don't know. But anyway, long story short, I totally forgot my gift card. <laughs> you know, the nice chunky gift card that I got. Did not put it in my purse. So, you know, that would have been the perfect thing to spend it on is the custom framing. Uh, but I didn't have it with me and I didn't want to deal with going back or anything. I know I'll spend the money eventually and I had already set aside money to do the custom framing so let's just do it, get it done. It won't be here in time for Christmas but you know everybody else needs that right now so I can wait for it until after Christmas. <clears throat> so we went to Joann's and of course of course, all the Christmas stuff is on sale. I've been seeing these birds lately um, online, these little wooden birds, and I was like, oh, I really want one of those for the tree. And they had one of these, so that's pretty. And then I just got a little, of course now it's not gonna ring. Ah, it was ringing in my hand, there we go. A little bell for the tree, it's kind of like a, you know, patina copper kind of feel to it. 
And then I got some fabrics. So I found this really fun fabric for, oh, Jane, if you're watching this, fast forward about five minutes because you don't want to ruin the surprise for yourself. Okay, so this is for the tote bag for my coworker. And I found this cute fabric. They had all the um, licensed fabrics for 40% off, which is really good. So I got that, and then I was thinking, this is kind of crazy for a tote bag. She might want this to be more mellow on the outside. So I was thinking that might be a good lining fabric. And then my sister found this one, which is just classic Mickey and Minnie, and they're drawn, and it's kind of a denim-y color. So I thought that would make a nice, subtle outside of a bag. And then I found this Kona Cotton Red to match. So the Kona Cotton will be the bottom of the bag, that bottom accent and the handles. So that perfectly matches his pants. And then the nice, fun, splashy fabric for the inside of the bag. So that'll be nice. I look forward to doing that. Um, so I'm just going to make the regular tote bag for her, not the pieced bag. And then I found this cool fabric. It's so cool. It's like Day of the Dead masks. So that's really fun in the Star Wars fabric. And then I found this is really cute. Um, it's all the Star Wars characters, but kind of in stained glass. I thought that was very unique. So I don't know what I'm doing with these two fabrics yet. I just couldn't resist getting them. They really don't even go together. <laughs> Maybe if I add a solid cotton to them, they'll work nicely together. I don't know. And then because I still want to do the piecing part of that tote bag, I decided to get myself some Christmas fat quarters. So they're just, you know, all different designs, Santas, all that fun stuff, trees. And then you have the classic, you know, red pickup with the trees and that kind of thing and some plaids. So I was thinking maybe the plaids can be the base of the, um, of the outside of the bag and then I found this cute one for the lining of the bag so it just has the you know over the river and through the woods and it's nice and light for the inside so I'll make myself a Christmas tote bag for that for all my future Christmas shopping <laughs> and that's it so that was my walk today I was pretty good about walking uh, the week after I told you guys that I was going to start walking and then last week I was just really tired and now that I'm home I really have to get out there and go for a walk. Uh, Oreo likes walking, Lucy, Lucy just drags the whole time. We really have to find her a body harness because we can't find, she's so bulky because she's part corgi so she's got that big bulky chest and I can't find a harness that works for her. So we just have the, you know, the neck collar leash, which doesn't work because then you're pulling her by her neck the whole time because she's just dragging the whole time. So that doesn't work. Uh, and she really needs to walk more. Um, my husband just had to install a new doggy door because she got stuck in the doggy door. She's getting quite wide now. So we just put in a new doggy door for her and... Yeah, she really needs more exercise than she's getting. But we just wind up dragging her around the neighborhood. So that doesn't work. It's better when there's two of us going on a walk. Because I can take Oreo a lot further and kind of loop around as my husband's just slowly strolling with Lucy. So that works. But if it's just me taking the dogs on a walk, I can't go very far. So I could go on a walk and leave them here. Um, today we chose to go on a walk through the stores. So that was a fun way to get my walk in, but obviously not as heart rate, you know, not as elevated of a heart rate as I normally am when I'm walking. So gotta figure that out with, with the dogs so that even though I'm home, I'm still getting the, the walking in and the exercising that I need to get. Okay, so we got our ornaments up. I've got one set left, which is good, so there's only four more ornaments, and I need to get started on those, work on the blanket, um, we're going to make banana bread at some point, that's probably going to be in the next video though, 
because I feel like this video is already getting quite heavy. We gave the dogs a bath. I'll put in a picture. They haven't had a bath in a while and it's been raining and we've just been putting off giving them a bath and it gets to the point where you pet them and you just have to go wash your hands so you don't want to pet them. So we finally gave them a bath. They were just zonked after the bath and it's kind of cold in the house. We turned the house heater on to warm up the house so that they weren't cold and wet at the same time. And then we put one of the blankets over the dogs to just kind of like give them a little bit of extra heat while they dried off and they just zonked out for hours under that blanket. <laughs> they were there for the rest of the night, barely moved at all. So um, just think the stress of giving them a bath was a lot. They really don't like that. Okay, one thing I really love to do this time of year is to do what I call a holiday scent, a scent steamer. <laughs> Uh, basically, you're putting something on the stove that's going to scent the whole house. I like to do this when people are over for the holidays, but it's also just nice to have on your own. And um, this is also a good present if you want a quick present idea, is that you put all the spices together. Um, I used a big mason jar to do this and instead of a navel orange like I'm doing here, I had a clementine in each of them and some, um, some cranberries and then all the spices and it's just a really nice present to give. And then they basically just add water and put it on their stove to uh, boil away. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put all this in our in our pot here. I'm going to put the whole oranges in, but I'm also just going to juice it a little bit. And then we've also got that cran apple juice that we used last week because this stuff has way too much sugar in it for me. So um, just using it for cooking, this is a huge container. So I was thinking, oh, I could use it for both. Yeah, it's got 26 sugars, including 23 added sugars. Like you really need apple juice to have more than its natural sugar. But this will be nice. So instead of water, I'm adding this. You could also just do regular apple juice, but since I don't have the actual cranberries, I am gonna do this way. And then, if you have whole cloves and cinnamon sticks, this is a good opportunity to use them. So I'm just going to throw a few in there. And this will just do one. I don't think I need more than one. I, I have these all as leftovers from um, the last year when I made the little scent steamers. And just whatever other things you have. I have some ground ginger. I'm gonna put that in, in addition to the cinnamon stick. I have ground cinnamon, allspice, and some ground cloves. And then I'm just gonna put this on at a very low heat. And I'm gonna let this simmer all day and it's just gonna add this beautiful scent to my house. And uh, yeah, it'll be nice. So we got that going. I still have one of the Granny Smith apples. I don't know that it's gonna add a lot, but I don't know that I'm gonna use the Granny Smith apple for anything else. So maybe, maybe it would be a good idea to put some of that in here but there's already apple juice, so. And basically you can keep using this, you just refill it with water and keep it going for as long as you want. And it just kind of permeates the house. Another thing you can do with this is put it in a crock pot and just have that permeating the house if you wanna like bring it to a friend's house for the holidays. I'll pop in a picture here of what the presents looked like so you get an idea of how that looked. They were very easy to put together. And since most of us have 
baking ingredients in our house already, it really wasn't that much stuff to put together. So I hope you enjoy this and I hope you give it a try. Everybody. Welcome back to Vlogmas Day 19. First official day off of work, which is very nice, but of course I had to check my email. So this one is peppermint candy. This is a new one. So we've got peppermint herbal tea with green tea with orange, cinnamon, roasted chicory, and vanilla. So that sounds good. Got our camp camping mug. Mmm, that's nice. I wouldn't think peppermint and vanilla went together, but that's pretty nice. That's good. I'm going to put this right over here for a second. Okay, and you'll see our, our yarn advent is filling up. So, I'm getting down to the wire here. So, I'm going to look at the yarn advent for today. We're getting down to the end there, number 19. And I did find out these are 20 gram mini skeins. So sometimes when you buy stuff on Etsy, the um, listing goes away if they've sold out of stuff. So always good to take a screenshot of what you purchased because you might not be able to see it later. Oh, it looks like we're getting lighter again. Although, is that a shade of purple? It does kind of have a little purple in it, doesn't it? Hmm, maybe we are getting into the purple after all. The purple was going to be my, um, my coordinating color, but I'm, I have to wait and see how much purple is in this before I pick that coordinating color. <clears throat> and we just got our new kit club in the mail for the last few stripes, so this does not include the border, but I can go ahead and do these stripes I got a bug up my butt yesterday to work on the blanket. So let me show you where we got to with that last night. Um, I decided to watch When Harry Met Sally. I was kind of uh, YouTubed out. <laughs> so I went back to movies. But this is really pretty. So we did this. We did this kind of diamond stripe here, which turned out really nice and this kind of you know blocky stripe with the holes and now we're on to the red stripe and this red stripe is the last stripe for this kit so then i can start on that next kit and then we were almost done so very excited as you can see this blanket is huge <laughs> it's like nice and cozy to work on though because it's on your lap the whole time so that's nice, but barely fits in this bag any longer. <laughs> oh. And I did go back to Michael's and I added the glass onto the order, so that's good. And while I was there, I found some holiday fabrics. <clears throat> so I bought these. I don't know if I'm going to incorporate these into my tote bag or use them for like project bags for next year, but they're very cute and they were half off. So it says $9.99, but they were really only $5. So you got some, got some snowmen there. I was thinking of, 
Oh, I was thinking of the snowmen with the trees as like a base. And then, which one? Oh, this is lining. It's all these words. So hope, Noel, peace. So this would be the lining probably for both bags. And then I was thinking of these two together with the Santas and the plaid. So probably like two project bags. It's more like what that would work out to be. Okay, so had a busy day of eating out for lunch at Red Robin. Haven't been there forever. Got my Whiskey River barbecue burger, which I haven't had since pre-pandemic. I don't think we've been there since pandemic, so that was really tasty and nice. Um, I got the quilt finished today. I was so frustrated. So I cut the long strip to finish off uh, the missing length that I needed. And of course, even checking it three times, I sewed it to the wrong side. I sewed it backwards. So I had to seam rip the whole thing out. Lucy still has like pieces of thread on her. <laughs> so I had to seam rip that, re-sew it, re-iron it, refold it. But the quilt is ready to go, which is nice. So I'm gonna fill out the online form tomorrow pick one of the um, computerized designs for the quilting part, and then get that off to the long arm quilter. So at least, I'm, I might not ship it until after the holidays. I'm worried that with the amount of packages right now, it might be better to ship it after the holiday. So maybe I'll wait and ship it next week, but I'll get it all ready to mail so that it'll be off my brain. And other than that, we're going to probably do holiday lights tonight. I'm going to drive around and look for some cute neighborhoods to share with you. And I don't know, depending, I've been very productive this weekend. So depending on how much stuff is already in the vlog, I might wait and include that in the next vlog. So you will see that either this time or next time. And then probably the next vlog for Saturday is going to be more of a montage. I think I've got a lot of stuff to pack in with me wrapping presents and holiday lights and baking banana bread, you know, all of the things. So I'll probably just do that more as a video montage than me talking a lot. We have the last four ornaments. I didn't even get to the cutting, so I need to work on that tomorrow and getting this vlog up for you tomorrow as well. And other than that, just kind of getting in the mode, the holiday mode, and getting all the things done that I have on my to-do list for these two weeks. And so the next vlog will take us up through the end of Vlogmas and up to, to Christmas Eve, where we're hosting my family. So if I get the plates in, I'll share the plates with you. And... Um, Otherwise, I think I'll just do like a little photo montage, like a little short for you of both holiday celebrations. And my husband had a brilliant idea of doing like Chinese food for Christmas Day at, at his brother's house. We're just bringing down Chinese food that needs to be reheated. Everybody loves Chinese food. And we'll get that a couple of days ahead of time and just heat it up. So that's a lot less work for me to do. I don't have to go to somebody else's kitchen and try and cook and bring all my stuff to make sure I have like the right pots and pans and utensils and everything. So I think that'll be a load off my brain. So basically just have to host my family, try and do the dishes and get the house back in order to leave the next morning. Um, and that'll be a lot less work for me to do like once Christmas Eve is done and my family goes home, I'm pretty much off the hook. <laughs> so that's nice. Uh, so I'll share some photos of both celebrations with you, just so you have a little clue. And then I think the video for the end of the year is just going to be a year in review. It's my first year on YouTube, so I wanted to share kind of a recap of all the stuff we've done this year. We've done a lot of stuff. We've got over 300 subscribers and just thankful for each and every one of you who comes and watches my videos each week. Uh, it's been a whirlwind year for me, so I want to kind of do a year in review and look back and 
just applaud all the growth that we've made and then um, get ready for our year of bags. So I'm waiting for the photo backdrops to come in so I can kind of do a stop motion intro for us and hopefully that will be ready by the next Saturday. So next Saturday is the 31st, so the Saturday after that, what, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th? The 7th or 8th, so by the time we get to that first video of 2023, we will have worked on a bag and I'm not sure what I'm doing yet except for the bag for my coworker. So that might be a nice little way to to ease into that year of bags. It's a new bag pattern for me, so it'll still be a new bag pattern, but it's a tote bag, so it's a relatively easy pattern. So we'll make that one. We'll go through the drawstring project bags that I have all lined up to make, just to kind of ease our way in, and then we'll start working on the um, brand new bat pattern prototypes that we have to work on for next year. So I'll start lining up and thinking about what order I want to have those in, probably start with some easier ones to ease our way into the year, and then work our way up to the wallets and the backpack pattern, <laughs> because, because those intimidate the heck out of me. So we'll build our, we'll build our confidence up to work on those later. And thank you for joining me this half week. I hope you're doing wonderful and you're having a wonderful week. And I will see you next time. Love you, friends. Bye.